Hi guys, welcome back to my channel again. And this morning I created a page for the Mission Inspiration Challenge and that was the one for August 2016. Uh, I still have a bit of catching up to do um, before uh, I have uh, all completed them until December. Um, the mission for December is just up at the Facebook group uh, of uh, Mike Deacon. Uh, but I wanted to do this one first, so um, and um, I prepared myself quite well for this because I watched the video of Mike Deacon, of course, and also a few videos um, here on YouTube for uh, about the mission inspiration. And I knew there was going to be some confetti and actually this is my second attempt to make this page because the first one uh, all went haywire with the confetti uh, because I had the real confetti and that didn't work at all. So now I thought I could use these little cardboard, cardstock really, uh, circles that I had in my stash because they were a bit heavier and I thought they, they could work. But uh, as you will see, uh, it doesn't. Uh, first of all, my spray bottles aren't spraying very well. And uh, so to make it more um, misty and a kind of blending in, uh, I use some water and then I use the a blue acrylic spray, which didn't work as well. And in the meanwhile, my page was very wet. So I was trying to dry a bit with my hair dryer and most of the circles uh, uh, were staying down, but uh, some of them didn't. And um, the spray all got under the circles, so it was a big mess. I decided to glue down the little circles on a piece of the map paper and then later on to cut it out. So I would still get the effect uh, I was aiming for but I cheated a little bit here, <clears throat> sorry. So again, I'm going in with a, a homemade acrylic spray that is a black and a blue one um, to um, cover the top part of the page a bit more than uh, I did before. And now I am gluing down these little circles with a tacky glue and they are gonna stay there. I'm not. Uh, getting them off again so um, yeah that was a bit of a cheat um, I saw the video of Mike Deacon and he had the same problem because he also tried to use uh, his heat tool and then it all blown away so that was a difficult one So on to step three is at rubber stamping and I used some stamps by Indigo Blue and that is the Limer Circles and I'm using the Stazon uh, Yet Black ink pad for that. Uh, this, this mission inspiration uh, by the way is uh, set by Shell C. She made the prompts for the August mission inspiration. So step Four is paint or add an image of a tree. So when I prepared for this mission, I had printed out some trees on a tissue paper and I thought I should glue them down on my page and it would blend in with the background. But as I had my top part of the page kind of dark and the bottom part white, I was thinking 
uh, well, maybe that doesn't work. Now, I am a very bad drawer. I cannot draw. So that's why I chose to use these uh, images uh, printed on tissue paper. But I was a bit scared of adding them. I thought it wouldn't work. So I did try and draw a tree. And first I did that with a normal pencil, uh, but that wouldn't show on the black part. So I used my Uniball Signo white uh, gel pen and um, very carefully uh, adding some lines that should go for branches and I'm leaving uh, the middle part uh, uh, a bit open because I know there is is coming my um, image there is going to be my image and that Signo uh, uh, Uniball pen doesn't work for me all that well so but I managed to get some lines uh, and I will uh, go back to that tree in a later stage. So step five is glue on some thread, twine or string. And I use uh, some thin thread in white and black and add it around a few of the circles. First. I'm trying to use the tacky glue, but I couldn't get any glue out of the nozzle. I think it was cluttered. So this is a Mod Podge I'm using to glue down the thread, which I keep in a little soft bottle. So while I was uh, drawing the tree, I almost gave up on this page because I thought, well, this is going to be hideous. But I thought, well, let's see um, how it progresses. And I have to say I'm quite okay with how it turned out in the end. So. Here I'm adding some black uh, threads as well. And that step is done. And number six is add a coloring book focal image. And here I'm going to cheat a bit again because I had no coloring books the, uh, the time my son was a little kid and used to draw in coloring books is uh, a very long time ago so i didn't have any and i looked on the internet to find some images but i i didn't like them i didn't want to use them and this image was in the atlas in the book i had and well i thought this could go for a uh, coloring book image so let's use this one so I cheated a bit here again and then make circle marks with a paper tube so so I got this roll from toilet paper and I'm using a white acrylic paint by Art Talent to add some circles around the little circles that were already there. a black one uh, also with an acrylic paint uh, this is an acrylic 
paint by Van Eyck, I believe. And this is my Faber-Castell artist pit pen and I use that to color in the, the tree. And then I'm going back to the tree to um, give it a bit more detail with the white gel pen and I have three white gel pens and I used all three of them but they weren't any good so the Faber-Castell uh, artist pit pen the black one will be used to add some detail to the tree as well and that is also step eight really because uh, step eight says add shadows and highlights with black and white so before I knew I had to do that step, I already did it. So step eight, add shadows and highlights with black and white. So I'm also going in around the circles with the black Faber-Castell pit pen. So for those who like to join the mix, uh, Mission Inspiration Facebook group, I will leave you a link in the description box. This is a, a Facebook group set by Mike Deacon and he also, most of the time, he sets uh, the challenges as well, uh, except for this one. This one uh, was set by Shell C and um, well, it's great fun to join in so um, if you like I will leave you a link to so please follow it and wait for approval and you can start creating so step 9 is add a border to your page with ink and I did a simple border using the Stazon uh, ink pad um, the black one to uh, ink the edges of my page And step 10, finish with journaling, quote or title. And I found this title in a magazine a little while ago, uh, which says live mindfully. And I thought that was the perfect title for this page with the earth and the trees. And we must take good care of it. So live mindfully inking a bit with the Stazon ink pad again and finding the right spot to glue it down with the Mod Podge and that's about it for my mission of August 2016 mission accomplished so thank you again everyone for uh, watching I uh, hope you liked uh, liked it if you did please give it a thumbs up and um, subscribe to my channel for more videos and uh, hopefully see you again next time have a nice day everyone bye bye